Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beam Toyota in Nashville. I um, want to show you something that I'm really excited about. It is the Toyota Corolla Cross. Now, why am I excited about it? I'm excited about it because a lot of you guys are excited about it. So, um, this is the Corolla Cross. The trim level is L. So, um, this, it has an L, uh, LE, and an XLE trim level available in it. Um, so, this is part of our Toyota trim level series, the TTLS series, Toyota trim level series. Um, so, wanted to go ahead and show you some of the features on this one as the L and know that uh, this is the base model, right? So um, one of the best things about this car is that it is affordable, all right? So um, you're gonna be in the, you know, around the mid 20s on this car. Um, and realistically speaking, even if you go to the very top of the line, you're only gonna be in the low 30s. So um, there, this is a entry level car for uh, maybe a student, maybe somebody that uh, has a small family. You're gonna see why that matters here in a minute. Um, but you can see it's got the hubcaps on there. Uh, the upper trim levels will get your, um, your uh, ones that don't have the hubcaps, your alloy wheels. Um, but you can see the size. Um, most of us, when we first saw it, we were like, wow, this is this is like the RAV4. Um, it, it looks very, very similar to the size of the RAV4. It is smaller uh, than the RAV4. And I'll go over the dimensions of this here in just a little bit, but um, it is, it is definitely smaller than the, um, than the uh, uh, RAV4. Um, it is bigger than the CHR, and be quite honest, I'm calling this thing the CHR killer, because I, I really think that this will kill the CHR, all right? Because this, it, it's, you know, there, there's a lot of things on this thing that are better than the CHR, and uh, Toyota has said the CHR is not going anywhere, um, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, I think this is a beautiful car. Um, you're not going to, you know, race off the line and, you know, beat a bunch of people in, or anything like that in this car, but uh, you're definitely, it's going to be economical for you. Um, this has better fuel economy than the CHR does. It's got 31 city, 33 highway, and 32 combined. So really good fuel economy. Same engine as the Corolla. It's got the 2.0 liter. Um, so you have, uh, you know, like I said, it's 2.0 liter. It's got a CVT transmission, but... Uh, the CVT transmission actually has uh, that uh, launch gear that uh, the Corolla has, which, uh, you know, we all call that a launch gear because, well, that's what it is, launch gear. Um, it uh, is your first gear as you go. So, um, you know, I've got my notes here and I'm dealing with some winds just in case you're wondering what I was just doing there. But um, so I want to show you guys this right here. This is the only one that has a key. Everything else has the smart key system with uh, push button start. So do you want to note that? Want to show you down here that you do have your mirrors. Your mirrors are just like the RAV4, just like the Highlander, just like anything else where it's actually brought down to the uh, side uh, of the vehicle. So it gives you some more visibility on the inside. Um, and if you take a look on the inside, definitely very very nice on the inside this is going to have your cloth interior because it's your l it's your base model right um you'll notice that it has uh the seat down there it has uh everything's manual on the seat but it does have an eight-way seat uh four-way on the other side but nothing's power on it um safety sense will be safety sense 2.0 it has your lane departure alert has your dynamic radar cruise control it's full speed take you all the way to the stop um it has uh your uh, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection of course so um, it can actually see a person and can actually stop for a person of course um, and it has lane tracing lane uh, lane departure alert automatic high beams and your uh, road sign assist of course nine airbags in this car including a driver's side airbag uh, for your knees um, but yeah it's definitely gonna take care of you um, you know hill start assist tire pressure monitor system all your crumpled zones, lane keep assist, and your backup camera are all standard features no matter where you go on this car. Um, there are a couple things that are kind of nice too. So as you get to where you're going, looking for these little um, these little things here, um, you're gonna see a bunch of the um, little icon for the Corolla Cross. They've hit them all over this car. I believe they said there's 22 of them on this car and none of us have uh, yet to find them all. So they're actually not uh is easy to find as you think <laughs> just so you know but you'll see little things like back here you got the corolla cross and 
in there. Um, they're just, they've, they've made it a fun, fun car, fun to look at. Um, now let's go ahead and we're going to open the back up here. So uh, the, this does not have a power tailgate on this trim level. Uh, your power tailgate will be on the um, XLE. So you have an LE, an, or an L, an LE, and an XLE. You have the convenience package on your XLE will give you the sunroof and the power up and down tailgate. Sunroof is not available on the L. Um, it is available on the LE, but it, it will not have the uh, power up, power down tailgate on the LE. All right. So yeah, a lot of stuff to tell you, but that is all true. By the way, heated mirrors, forgot to tell you, heated mirrors on the outside as well. So you'll see here, you know, I wanted to show you underneath your, uh, sorry about that, underneath your, um, uh, your little cover down here, you can see that you do have a spare tire jack. All of that is here. So you have all of that. The seats will fold down. You just kind of push that there. You can fold it down from in back. You can fold it down from in front. Three car seat tethers are uh, in there as well. Um, you can also see that you do have a spot for a tonneau cover. Um, it's not a level or like a level down here. So, uh, but it, it would still let you do what you needed to do, of course, to be able to uh, haul stuff. You also have your uh, tie downs there. You also have tie downs down here. Um, like I said, some of those little uh, hidden little gems you also have up here. Crawl across, you have that little hidden gem right there. Um, but you've got these uh, uh, things that they put all over this car for you to, to find. Um, but we'll throw that down, of course. But you can kind of see, like I said, it's uh, it's just it's it's a nice little car. You know, uh, there's a lot of people right now that are looking at, you know, used cars that are $30,000 as starter cars. All right. So um, starter cars, that's, uh, that's a pretty hefty sum for a starter car. Now, I do want to show you down here that they have these. And I'll probably show you over here so you can see it with the light a little bit. That actually cover up for car seats. So it's, it's great for a small family. It's great for uh, somebody that might be going to college, um, something like that. And I would say, put those in your glove box if you take those out to put a car seat in so that when you are ready to uh, uh, you know, move forward or whatever, that uh, you'll have those available. Also notice you do have your rear vents in here. You have two USBs. Um, you have one US in, oh, actually let me show you one other thing here while I'm back here. You have a seat pocket on this side. It's not on the driver's side. Um, so anyway, so if you, uh, you can kind of look at the front here too. By the way, LED lights all the way around. Uh, headlights, taillights, they're all LEDs. There's a little variation as you go up in trim level, um, but this is where you're at here. You can also have fog lights. That's gonna be in your upper trim levels. I believe both the LE and the XLE will have those. Um, but uh, it's definitely a uh, an option for you, of course. So um, didn't want to tell you, your two USBs, you have one USB that's right there. That'll connect to your radio for your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto all of that your second usb is down here with a power port so you have that you can see the size of there two cup holders of course you have your brake hold which is actually a really cool thing to have so it'll hold your brake at a stoplight you have your um uh electronic parking brake all of that your uh start stop mode is on this one as well um we'll fire this this bad boy up here um, intermittent wipers is standard that's a uh, you know did want to note that um, all of your steering wheel everything like that's gonna look just like you're used to with any other Toyota of course um, single climate control uh, not the dual climate control in this level you do get that when you go up um, you also have your safety up here so your SOS is right here okay um, and then you'll see two LED lights these are all LEDs right through there um, but you can turn them on individually turn them all on turn them on with the door you can do all of that right so um, also you can see you've got your little vanity mirrors and everything like that is right there so um, a lot of people like to ask how big is the glove box so we'll kind of show you there's your glove box size right so really uh, like I said it's just a really good car so I'm gonna kind of go, go over some of the stuff here while we're uh, gonna back out here and we're gonna kind of uh, take a look at everything for us here so 
Um, like I said, you have a unibody construction. Um, it's built on the TNGA platform, of course. Um, you have, uh, let me see here. Uh, so you have your independent front suspension with your McPherson front shocks, stabilizer bar, coil springs, hydraulic shock absorbers, of course, and your back is a torsion beam rear suspension with coil springs. Um, you can have either all-wheel drive or two-wheel drive on every trim level. So front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive on every trim level of this. So um, there is not a hybrid. People have asked that question too. There's not a hybrid version of this, at least not in the U.S. I'm not sure about uh, outside the U.S. A 2.0 liter motor produces 169 horsepower um, at 151 pound of torque. Um, electronic power steering, of course. Um, you have a, uh, like I said, a CVT transmission with a launch gear to it. So, um, and you know, they did mention that the launch gear doesn't mean you're gonna launch it. Obviously it's uh, it just, it's a, a static first gear to help you to get up to speed on the, uh, when you're driving, right? So everything's LED, like I said, all LED lights. You do have a 1500 pound tow rating, by the way, um, which isn't a whole lot, but you do have a, the ability to tow. Your overall height is 64.8 inches. Uh, your overall width is 71.9 inches. Overall length is 175.6 inches. And your ground clearance is 8.1 inches. All right, so five passenger seating, of course, six way manual driver's seat. Uh, your urethane shift knob, your sun visors, uh, you know, all of the stuff that we just looked at there. Your audio screen is a seven inch screen with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa is all standard in there. Your Sirius XM also comes with the three month trial. So you have Sirius in all trim levels, Safety Connect, Service Connect. So Safety Connect has a one year trial. Service Connect has a 10 year trial where it'll connect to the service department for you. Um, and you also have Wi-Fi through AT&T. So um, if uh, you are inclined to do the Wi-Fi there. So um, just a, uh, like I said, it's just a beautiful little car. It it works for a college student, works for a young family, works for, uh, you know, maybe somebody that's retiring. Um, it's, uh, you know, definitely take, take a peek, you know, see what you think. Um, now you have a lot more headroom in the back of this than what you have in like a CHR. Like I said, the CHR is definitely a smaller car than this, um, but uh, Toyota expects to sell a lot of these guys. Um, I do want to note down here too, so we're, we'll kind of walk around to the opposite side so I can do a, a quick note on something here for you. You should be able to see this. So on the bottom down here, you do have these, uh, they're, they're plastic on the bottom there and around your wheel well. So less likely that you're gonna damage something um, coming out of that. So if you know something kicks up and hits the bottom of your car, uh, you're probably not going to have that damage to occur, at least not to the metal and, you know, cause dent repairs and stuff, stuff like that. So that's, that's good. So, um, but definitely it's a, it's a nice looking car. Um, the grill and all that, it, it reminds you of other Toyotas that are currently out. It looks a lot like the RAV4, of course. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's not the RAV4, of course, but it, it, felt when we first got in it as salespeople, we're all like, man, this thing really feels a lot like the RAV4. It's size on the inside, the back seat, things like that. You feel like you're in a RAV4. It's just shorter and it's not quite as tall. All right. So you, you feel like you're in a RAV4. You, you drives a lot like the RAV4. Um, so if you guys like the RAV4, it's just a little bit too big for you. This is your car, the Corolla Cross. This is your next vehicle. So um, definitely let me know what you guys think. Um, appreciate you guys hanging out with me on the TTLS, the Toyota Trim Level Series. I will bring you the LE and the XLE when I can. Um, obviously the cars uh, coming in is a big factor to that, but uh, Steve Welch with Bima Toyota in Nashville. I appreciate everyone you guys. Definitely like and subscribe and uh, let me know if uh, you guys have any questions on anything coming, but the Corolla Cross. 2022 model um, and uh, I'm sure beyond uh, will be for this particular one so 2022 Corolla Cross uh, this is black by the way it's called jet black uh, just in case you're wondering on this particular color but definitely you guys have a great day um, and we will talk to you soon Steve Welch, Green Toyota